I've been involved in the design and development, construction of wetland systems now for, for many years. Facilities such as this are common in our developments where we need to ensure that we retard and we treat stormwater as part of the process of, of changing the land use from, uh, I guess, a farmer's paddock to uh, a residential community that you see thriving today. A good indication of whether or not the, the habitat is successful is the fact that we're getting wildlife or bird life that's now breeding in our wetland systems because they've got the protection of the, the reeds that you can see around here which protects their, their ducklings from the, um, the predators that are here. One of my favourite projects is the Jawbone Reserve wetland system in Williamstown. It was one of the first ones that I did. It's got all those beautiful attributes of a, of a successful wetland system. The community uses it widely. The wildlife is there. These systems don't just happen overnight. They do require time to get the real benefit out of them. The wetlands perform a number of functions. They treat the stormwater. They perform a retardation function, so in the event of a flood, the flood water is stored here. They provide really important habitat for a number of fauna species and also all the flora, and also provide a really fantastic asset for the community. Those are the things that for me, I think, make it really successful because you can see the community really buying into and enjoying the asset that we've delivered. Another project that I'm involved in is the Aurora project out in the north of Melbourne. It's a little bit different from this one in Gump Scrub Creek. It's an existing creek that we have running through the estate. And so what we've done there is enhance and build upon that existing asset. As that planting and those habitats have started to establish and develop, we've seen additional species that we hadn't accounted for and predicted come and inhabit those water bodies. We're seeing a lot of black swans and a whole family of young cygnets and perched in the tree over there, we've got a... Purple swamp hen. It's a good example of what we try to achieve. We've got the shallower areas of the wetland system around the edges so that um, it provides shelter for obviously a young family such as this to breed and forage. Water sensitive urban design is part of the biodiversity theme within Development Victoria's sustainability strategy. It's becoming more of an urgent issue. Water sensitive urban design helped deliver the objectives of Development Victoria's sustainability strategy and allowing the natural cycle to function with human existence. In a nutshell, all of this is about recognising and rectifying our impact, being responsible about the developments we build and showing respect for the environment in which we're integrating. One of my favourite aspects of a lot of these open spaces that Development Victoria delivers is actually seeing them function and seeing the community get out and really enjoy them for years to come. Look at the before and the after. 10 years ago, you would have seen a farmer's paddock with an open drain. Today, you've got something that's celebrated by the community and the wildlife as well. So that's pretty much the most rewarding element of what we do.